what I eat in a day on the WW plan. They just tell. Oh, they smell really good. I need to swing over to the grocery store later because I need to figure out what I'm making for dinner. I don't have a plan today. Of zero point ranch dressing and fresh sliced basil. Here we go. Lunch thief, you already stole most of the chicken. Mm-hmm. Good morning. Banana. Banana. Ba 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 banana. Banana. You take a bite. Um. Mmm. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new what I eat in a day on the WW plan to share with you guys. So it is pretty early this morning. I just got back from the school run, dropping Lila off at kindergarten. I've just made myself a pumpkin cream cold brew coffee. If you guys missed my last video, I just shared a whole video on some of my favorite Starbucks fall drinks and treats but how to DIY them at home to help you save some money this fall as well as to lighten them up a little bit, like healthy-ish versions. But anyway, this morning I'm kicking off with my pumpkin cream cold brew. Miss Nora is having a banana. This is already like snack number one of the day. She had breakfast with Lila this morning. They had some waffles. I haven't eaten anything yet today. It's just too crazy in the mornings before school to do any of that. So I had some water. I'm having my coffee. I'm gonna take Millie and Nora on a walk this morning. We're still doing our walking 30 minutes a day, every day, at least. So we're gonna go on a walk and then when I get home, I will make up more of like a late breakfast. I need to swing over to the grocery store later because I need to figure out what I'm making for dinner. I don't have a plan today. So we gotta figure that out and I'm gonna take you guys along and share with you guys what I eat, maybe some good recipes. We'll see what happens today.
All right guys, breakfast is served. We got back from our little walk outside. Oh, it was so nice out this morning. So much cooler than it has been lately, although it's gonna get really hot again this afternoon. So I'm glad we got out nice and early for our walk. It's like not even nine o'clock yet. Um, so anyway, that was good. Nora is playing with toys right there in the family room um, and watching some Miss Rachel. Lord, thank Miss Rachel for keeping my toddler occupied so I can get some stuff done, like actually making myself some food to eat. Um, this is a breakfast quesadilla. I loved this TikTok hack. It's been around for a while, but you put down your scrambled eggs first, season them, let them cook until they're almost all the way cooked through. You add a tortilla. I used a low carb La Banderita tortilla, which is only one point on the WW plan. You set that on top and then you give it a flip let the tortilla toast on the other side while you add your fillings. I have um, some chopped up thin sliced ham, which the Hillshire thin sliced ham that I shared with you guys, it's only one point for two ounces. So there's, I feel like tons of filling in this one. So there's chopped up ham, there's a little bit of cheddar cheese, just like two tablespoons worth. So you add all your fillings to one half, you flip the other side like you're folding it up. It's kind of like a tortilla wrapped omelet, <laughs> more than like a breakfast taco or quesadilla, I don't know. Um, it's very fluffy on the inside, nice and thick. I'm dipping mine in some zero point salsa. When you're craving that hearty, savory breakfast, so good. I also have a little bit of zero point ranch dressing, which I've shared that before on my channel, but it's just plain unfat Greek yogurt mixed with ranch seasoning. And then I use like either a squeeze of uh, lemon or lime juice or just sometimes even water. Just a little bit of it and mix it up until it's the consistency you want, so. Mm. So good. So I have my breakfast quesadilla. I also have a side of these tricolor grapes. And these are so pretty. I love getting these when they have them at the store all in one package. It's like red and green and black grapes. So good. And that's zero points too. So there you go. All in all, that breakfast comes out to only five points on the WW plan. And it's a hearty one. Well, Nora heard the word eggs and it was all over. Did you steal some of my breakfast? Yeah. Eggs. Eggs. Well. Little Nugga Doug and I are going to eat our breakfast quesadillas. And then actually I have an errand to run. We're gonna run up to the outlet mall. I have a return to do. And then I have to swing by the grocery store. We gotta figure out what we're doing for dinner. Check in with you guys then. Done at the mall, into Publix, and then home for lunch. This is new for Nora. We don't go to Publix very often. Beep, beep. Are you driving? Beep, beep. Off we go. I am back from Publix. Um, it was just a super short trip. I only needed like a couple things that I need to make dinner tonight. Um, more milk, always. I feel like I have to get milk every few days for these kids. And then I also got um, some pork chops. Those are gonna be for a dinner this weekend actually. Um, but for tonight's dinner, we're gonna be making a tomato galette. I have seen recipes for these all over TikTok and it just sounds like the most perfect, fresh, summery dinner. So we're doing a tomato galette and then I'm also gonna do some air fried chicken on the side, um, but we need some pie crust. We're gonna use the ready-made because honestly, like I could make my own crust, but some of the ones I was looking up like an olive oil crust were actually more points on the WW plan than just using the store-bought, so. We're just going easy tonight and using the store bought. And then instead of a heavier pointed cheese like goat cheese or burrata, which would be really good with this too, um, I actually bought some laughing cow cheese. This is the garlic and herb, and we're gonna use a couple of these wedges to spread on the bottom of the galette. And then the stars of the show, look at these gorgeous heirloom tomatoes. I'm so excited to eat these. They just, oh. Oh, they smell really good. Um, so we're gonna put these in our galette. We'll probably top it with like a sprinkle of Parmesan. Again, we're gonna have chicken breast with it on the side just to have some sort of a bulkier protein since we're doing this for dinner and not like an easy lunch. The galette on its own would be really good for like a lunch or even brunch. But we're gonna bulk it up with some protein tonight. And yeah, so that's what I got. And now I'm gonna make some lunch. Ugh, Nora fell asleep for like five minutes in the car, but I was able to successfully transfer her for nap time into her crib. So I'm hoping she stays down. She normally doesn't transfer super great and then like naps are 
bleh, the rest of the day. But we'll see, she seems to have transferred. She is really tired because there was actually like a little kid's playground at the mall where we went and I let her play for a while and she had a bunch of snacks and like meals to be honest on and off throughout the morning. So I think she's good. We'll just do like a later lunch heavy snack for her after her nap since she's already down to sleep. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna make my lunch now. Oh, I also grabbed those. I should think I showed them in the video. I got some popcorn chicken from Publix. So we're gonna make a salad for lunch. all my chicken yeah You already had your lunch. That's Mama's. She loves cottage cheese and chicken. Are you trying to steal my salad? Tell me what, what <laughs> Not the plate. You want a bite? Here you go. Lunch thief. You already stole most of the chicken. Hey guys, all right, it's a while later. I'm a little bit more disheveled. We got through the bedtime routine with the kids. Josh actually got out of work pretty late tonight, so it was solo mom duty doing dinner, bath time, and bedtime for both kiddos. Um, he just got home now, so I am gonna get our dinner started. I wanted to wait for him since we're making our like special heirloom galette. First step is preheating our oven to 425 degrees. Now we have our beautiful heirloom tomatoes, but I went ahead and washed and dried these off. I'm gonna go ahead and slice these, I'm trying to keep them about a quarter of an inch thick and about the same thickness throughout so they all cook the same. And we're just gonna lay them out on the cutting board and then pat them dry with a paper towel to remove some of the excess moisture. These don't need to be perfectly dry. We just want some of that extra moisture gone before we pop it on our pie crust. While well, these are laid out all nicely and um, we're gonna try and get some more moisture out, I'm gonna go ahead and season these with just some coarse salt and some black pepper too. So I have my roll of refrigerated pie crust. I'm gonna roll that out onto this piece of parchment paper that's already on a baking sheet. And then we're gonna be taking a few wedges of this Laughing Cow cheese in the garlic herb, and this is gonna get spread right on top. Hazard of store-bought pie crust. Sometimes it can get a little dry when you're rolling it out, but that's okay. Just pinch it back together <laughs> so there's no holes in your dough. You know what? For a weekday night, Sometimes you just gotta go easy and this will work and it'll taste delicious. I actually ended up popping them in a bowl and zapping them in the microwave for like 15, 20 seconds just so they were more easily spreadable. So you wanna spread this in a nice thin layer across the surface, leaving at least an inch to an inch and a half gap from the edge because we're gonna fold the edge over after we lay down our tomatoes. And then we're just gonna start layering on our tomatoes, letting them overlap just slightly. So that next step, we're just folding in the edges of our pie crust. This is gonna prevent any of our juice or our cheese from seeping out. Just kind of pinch it over the top. One egg, we're gonna just whip that up and we'll use that as an egg wash um, for the edges of our crust. Sorry, it is that time of night. My mom brain has officially 
kicked in and it just stopped. <laughs> just mid-sentence. I didn't remember what I was talking about. Galettes. We're making a tomato galette. Also, it's getting dark in here all of a sudden. Ah, oh, that's too much light, but it'll just. It's better, kind of. Sorry. Well, now that you can see what I'm doing, I'm just going to brush the edges lightly. A little sprinkle of salt on the crust. Touch of garlic powder. Just a little. And a little Italian seasoning. All right, and this is gonna bake in the oven for like 25 to 30 minutes. We're just gonna keep an eye and make sure the crust is baked through. And then for a boost of protein on the side, I went ahead and did a thin filet on two large chicken breasts. So they're just a little bit more thin cut, like chicken cutlets. I sprayed them with some avocado oil, and then these are the seasonings. It's just gonna be like a little Italian seasoned chicken. So I have some salt, onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and these are going to go in the air fryer at 400 for about 20, 25 minutes. Finishing it off with just a sprinkle of a shredded Parmesan and fresh sliced basil. Yum. And here's dinner. I have my Italian seasoned air fried chicken breast along with my piece of heirloom tomato galette. This looks so good. The crust is so flaky of those beautiful heirloom tomatoes, a little bit of creaminess and cheese from that laughing cow and the basil and parm on top. I can't wait to eat this. This looks delicious. Okay guys, I just got the kitchen all cleaned up for the night. I'm out of my 23 points for the day. If I decide I want a snack later, I'll probably just have some fruit. That's a great zero point option or some air pop popcorn. Those are some of my go-tos if I need a little snack and I'm out of points for the day. So that might be what I do. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. I need to go take a shower. It's been a long day. I'm tired. I probably will go to bed really soon. Our new schedule with Lila being back in school and now the kids getting up and ready for the day at like 6.30 uh, has definitely forced me to start going to bed a little bit earlier so I get some good sleep but thank you so much for watching today please hit the like button if you enjoyed my what I eat in a day on the WW plan don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one and until then bye, bye.